Captain America. <laughs> I mean, who do you think? Walks out here with a shield. God bless. It's 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 amazing. Who was second? Uh, Dylan and uh, Dylan and Joey tied. Yeah. I mean, uh, Captain America. I mean, I know that's a quick, cute nickname, but he's really living up to it. He's really just do it all out there. I know he had a vision before full camp started, but is he right. exceeding your vision at this point? Yeah. Uh, yes. Yes. Um, I didn't realize he was going to be able to do some of the receiver stuff that he's able to do. I knew he'd be able, you know, obviously he was a running quarterback and all in high school, so we knew he could do that portion. The biggest thing is it's not physical when you ask a guy to move around. Like, we asked Nikhil to move around last year, and it wasn't, I mean, we had to rep it. It's tough. I mean, think about it. This kid's a true freshman, and he's doing even more than what we asked Nikhil to do. So, um, and he's like... Yeah, he's, it's a one in a million, one in a million um, type guy because he's able to handle all of it. And then on top of it, most of the time, young guys have a tendency to think early. This is why a lot of freshmen don't play. They get out here, they think, and they don't run fast. And they don't even know they're doing it. So they're coming off the ball slow. They're not doing things as fast as they've done before. They get down on themselves. And it's just like a, a spiral, you know, for freshmen. That's why you don't see a lot of them playing. But uh, he doesn't experience that. He just doesn't have a, a letdown. Mentally, physically, he's just on his game every day. And you, you see, you see out there on special teams and everything. I mean, is there any um, yeah. concern, apprehension, however you want to phrase it, that you want to keep putting too much on his plate because he's doing special teams as well? Initially, we thought that, yes, and absolutely. Um, but And I don't even get the luxury of watching any of the things that he does on special teams. So, um, But I hear from everybody that he's doing really well. Uh, and it just, yeah, it's getting to the point where, you know, it amazes you. Somebody tweeted this out about Nikhil. It amazes you, but it doesn't surprise you. You know, at, you get start getting to that point. How much does it expand your offense just to have somebody like him? Oh man, uh, yes, you could be creative, and that's everything with smart players. Uh, if you if you don't if you have players that struggle picking up things and you, and they become high rep guys, then you have to be really simple. And then if you have to be really simple all of the time and you don't execute at just like prime level, you're gonna be really easy to defend. So you gotta, at some point in time, move guys around. You gotta be a little creative offensively. And guys like that, uh, it, he allows us to do that. Um, what have you seen from your wide receiver core? It seems like you got a lot of depth there. And yes. Some guys, some newcomers are looking good. It sounds like that's gonna be one of the deepest positions on this team. Oh yeah, I'm so pleased and happy with them. <laughs> it, it, the biggest thing is uh, uh, you can always tell the, the, the culture of the wide receiver group when you get in the team run period are they selling their bodies out and running in there to block and they're all you don't see anybody loafing you see they're all committed to helping pop runs they know Eno uh, is going to break tackles at the line of scrimmage or in the second level at linebacker depth and if they can get their guy blocked they know he, they can score him touchdowns and they've really embraced that and bought into that and they've done a tremendous job and they're super talented uh, and um, and we're actually we'll get better as the year goes because the young guys will develop more and more and more is if we Jordan, stay healthy. Is Jordan Curley a big surprise? I mean, I mean he seems to be a, one of the more pleasant surprises at camp. Yeah, you know, we, it's not a surprise physically because we kind of knew um, what we were getting. You know, we had a lot of guys in Texas. You know, I have some buddies in the coaching profession at colleges in Texas who kept telling me, man, you guys struck gold with that kid. He's one of the best wide receivers in the state of Texas. And he's, you know, and just telling you, you guys stole a guy. And um, and it's exactly what I've, what I've seen on film, exactly what I've seen on film. So we're, we're, here's what I'm surprised at is his focus and drive to be a great player. You hardly ever see the guy smile. He just looks at you. He listens to when other guys are getting coached. He listens to them and then goes out and does it, which is really special for a freshman. What about Mike Berkovici, what he's done with your quarterbacks? Because i got to think he's the perfect conduit between you and, the, and your quarterbacks. And he's been through everything. That's right. It's exactly right. That's a good point. One of the big things, it's not why uh, I wanted, we wanted to hire him, um, but it was one thing that he really brought to the table. We knew we were going to have a quarterback battle. We knew one day we're going to walk in there and three guys are going to get their heart broke. And he's been through that situation here at Arizona State. And then 
waited and then came on and then became the starter. So we knew he was the perfect guy to have those side conversations with those guys when it comes D-Day uh, when we do that. And so, uh, and then on top of it, as much as I feel like we struck gold with our, our, our recruiting class of this year, the freshmen, it's the same way I feel about Michael Bercovici as a coach. He's going to be a star in this profession. Um, it looks like we, Herm even said you could have a quarterback announcement as soon as Monday, possibly. Yes, it's a possibility, very possible. Okay. So you have a pretty good idea right now which way you're going? Um, yep, it's heading that way. <laughs> if you just want to cut to the chase, we could just end this. Yeah, right we could now. do it right now. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm not going to do that, but uh, yes, you know, and I'm just, you know, whatever Herm said, that's what we're doing, and, and, and I'll be there, so. <laughs> are, you, are you kind of looking forward to having that done, yes. announced, and let's go on with it? Yes, I, I am, um, for the kids, for everybody's sake. Um, and it's not going to be a fun day. I'm not looking forward to the day. It's not going to be fun because I love those guys. Um, and if you've ever been um, up for a job and didn't get it, if you've ever been demoted, if you've ever been fired, if you've ever been not picked for a team, if you've ever not been picked for your promotion, everybody understands that. So very sensitive to that on that day. We understand that. I'm not looking forward to it. But um, um, And I just love those guys, and we'll have a lot more to say on that that day. Good? All right, yeah, absolutely. Thank you.